The New York State Department continues to push consumer alerts about moving and rental scams. So what does folks at the Division of Consumer Protections say about this? What New Yorkers should be looking out for? Tonight we hear more from our New York Capital correspondent Elise Klein. As more students return to campus and moving season continues on, the Department of State warns New Yorkers about rental and moving scams. They advise New Yorkers to avoid certain practices, such as giving in to urgent, high-pressure sales tactics and using untraceable payment methods, such as cash apps, gift cards, or prepaid debit cards. And once the money's gone, it's gone, because these are untraceable funds. Most of these scammers operate overseas. Um, you know, the chances of, of you getting your money back are really slim to none. So prevention goes a long way in this area. O'Brien Solar says New Yorkers should avoid giving any personal information out until they have seen the property and to verify the identity of any real estate professional they might be working with. We've had a lot of complaints about impersonation of real estate agents in New York. Um, so you want to make sure that you know who you're dealing with. An individual can verify a real estate professional's identity and license through the Department of State's public database on their website. O'Brien Solar says other common prevention measures New Yorkers can practice include hiring licensed and registered movers and getting written estimates and contracts. In Albany, Elise Klein, Erie News Now.